Hello, dear students. I'll be checking you on POL for a lot of evidence. The first thing we have to talk about today is the main of our lesson one. Then, in the main of evidence, we're going to look at various arms of what constitutes the meaning of the word. We're looking at the ordinary meaning as well as what the juries have ascribed to the word as representing evidence. And then we're also going to wrap it up by looking at scholars' definition. In ordinary man's view, evidence simply means something that shows that something has happened. For instance, you see somebody putting a toothpick in his mouth. The normal presumption that comes into your mind is that this person has eaten food. What you are doing must have replicated something that has happened. Then looking at various legal definitions and talking about what scholars have seen, there are several definitions of the word evidence. So we are going to look, sum them up and see what each jurist or scholar has the meaning of the word evidence. I would I define evidence as the process of proving a fact in issue, either already or documentarily or by real evidence, but excluding inferences. Like I did say before, his mistake here is to have said that evidence excludes inferences. No, that doesn't happen. Then Professor Cockle, Presented that evidence is a means by which a fact is proved or established with the satisfaction of a party, inquiring, and so long as that evidence is credible. The introduction of the word credibility here and now is a bit off because we will never know what word, what evidence is credible until the end of the day. Now, Phipson has come out with what can be said to be an acceptable definition of the term evidence being the testimony, whether our written or real which may be legally received in order to prove or disprove facts. But on my own side, I have tried to define evidence as meaning the testimony of a party or his witness and using a proceeding, which may be oral, documentary or real, with the intention of persuading the court to believe in its credibility and with a view to proving or disproving the fact in dispute, the dispute in issue.